missile is launched one early morning, but several hundred kilometers away, an airborne surveillance aircraft detects the launch on its monitors and is able to transmit the missile's trajectory to ground forces close to the intended impact zone, giving them the critical time to counter the attack. Better information leads to better decisions, and when minutes can impact the outcome, you want the best information in the fastest time frame possible to give yourself time to act. This is the power of early warning systems. Airborne surveillance has come a long way from its early days of putting two men with a telescope in a balloon to today, where the aircraft is a flying command center fitted with incredibly advanced sensors. Modern threats are smarter and can appear simultaneously from air, sea or ground. For example, while land forces face artillery strikes, they can also be vulnerable to enemy aircraft and naval attacks. The ability to detect potential threats from long distances in real time is crucial, giving critical time needed to act before danger strikes. Think of it like this. If the enemies want to keep forces in the dark, airborne surveillance is the big flashlight. An airborne early warning and control solution provides longer forewarning and can cover significantly more despite the Earth's curvature. The higher an aircraft flies, the farther it can see, allowing it to monitor a much larger area. And like flashlights, if radar is on, everyone else can see it as well. Fighter jets and other aircraft typically carry small radars, while airborne early warning systems carry bigger and stronger radars, capable of tracking significantly more objects. The advantage of using a solution like Global Eye is that a singular aircraft can track very low observable air and sea targets, including stealthy aircraft, cruise missiles or hypersonic missiles, even in heavy clutter and jamming environments, all simultaneously. Then send that information to ground crew fighter jets or to the command center, allowing them the advantage of time to act. Global Eye's range relates both to its altitude and design. And to cover land, sea and air effectively, it needs various radars and sensors. These sensors produce a huge quantity of data and requires efficient mission systems for processing and transmitting precise data to every asset in an operation, giving them the information needed for success. Global Eye can therefore be used as a command center to coordinate several assets. For example, identifying an enemy ship, confirming the information using Global Eye advanced sensors, and then coordinating with other assets, like a fighter jet, to act on the information. AEW and C assets are used to protect countries and its citizens, but they can also be used to monitor borders and economic zones lending support to relief forces in case of natural disasters or monitoring large-scale events. It's what is known as dual use, the ability to provide intelligence for both military and civilian purposes. Compare this to most other military equipment which can only be used in war scenarios and you'll understand the relevance of the AEWNC capability. Airborne early warning and control aircraft hold a unique spot in defense. Its long range means the aircraft can operate from a safe distance and technically fly anywhere. Unlike, for example, satellites that are confined to orbit and at a comparatively huge cost. As the most advanced and capable airborne early warning system available today, Global Eye gives any country valuable time when every extra second counts. At Let's Talk About Tech, you get to be co-creators. What do you want to learn about defense technology or tech in general? Comment below what we should talk about in the coming episodes and make sure to check out Saab.com. <laughs>